Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osaiwa Mesalin. Today, Lami and I... <laughs> Uh, let me, you're just, you're just glowing this evening. What's up? What's good? My new hairstyle. Yes, yeah, so we can see. <laughs> Echo lockdown. I had to improvise. This is the first time I'm wearing braids. I can see. My husband particularly detested it. We had no choice. Wow. Echo lockdown. Echo lockdown. <laughs> I can imagine so many things happening. You know, I haven't brought out my natural hair like in ages. I always do different kinds of style to protect it. But this lockdown, you know. I can't even bear to go to the salon. Look at my nails. Hmm. I can't remember the last time I fixed it. <laughs> no, we've been polishing. But today I won't show my nails. We've been polishing. <laughs> but no time though. But how have you been though? Have you oh, been coping and, yeah. um, with the new extension? How I, I, I anticipated it, so it didn't come to me as a shock anyway, so. Okay. Because I didn't see the curve flattening, so there was no point. Um, uh, like the restrictions and all that, so I anticipated we're still going to be on the lockdown, so it wasn't a shock. I just wish a lot of people could actually understand it the way you've said it. You know, I just wish a lot of people would understand that this is needed at this time. It's not like somebody's trying to be mean or something. But from my research of pandemics that have happened in time past, um, a natural consequence of pandemic is revol revolution. People revolt against the government. Not many people would understand, particularly because of ignorance and poverty. So I think it's expected. Wow. Today is a very interesting day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here's yeah. what we found as today's quote. Worry in the dark can make it even darker. Wow, that's from Cameron, right? Do you agree with that? Oh, definitely. When you start to worry, it gets worse. So that's what I've been trying to do during this um, isolation. At the beginning, I was panicking a lot. I was fixated on the news, numbers, CNA numbers, and mm. all that. But my husband told me, he said, you just kill yourself. You better just distract yourself with other things. And I started reading, watching enough, enough um, movies and all that, and I, I got by. I, I think also um, I had to ban myself or stop myself physically yeah. from watching CNN, especially I CNN. I did that. It, it, was, it, was, it was getting to that point where it was becoming more depressing. It was traumatic. And all of that, yeah. So um, I, 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 I also got back to writing. writing. I've been writing a book since 2016. I've not finished it. Are you <laughs> So I went back to writing. Then I went back to reading as well. Yes, I've reading. been reading. So, and I'm very excited, particularly today, about what we're talking about. Anxiety, yes. anger management, how stress, to yes, and all of that. For me, I think it's very, very key at this point for us to learn how to manage our anxiety, how to learn to be still and meditate and all of that. So hopefully they will teach us because we are too hyper. I'm looking forward to it. I'm <laughs> so too looking forward to it. Yeah, as we said today, we'll be focusing on coping with like anxiety, fear and grief arising from the COVID-19 pandemic. And we have the founder, Art of Living, Gurudev Sri Sri Ravi Shakar and Akshay Jain, the director of the Art of Living Nigeria, joining us. Um, but we'll take a quick break first to see what we found in the news. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. 